Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKX. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the configuration of the Java Virtual Machine. This uh, JVM you will need in order to do any type of Android development. So I'm going to be showing you. In the last tutorial, I, I didn't talk about the JDK that much, uh, So, but some people don't have Java installed, so that's why I decided to do this tutorial for those people that don't have it installed. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open a terminal. And I did this here to, to more or less for you to, to see what I'm doing. I'm going to be showing you how to download the Java from Oracle. As you know, more likely you do know Oracle and, and, and Ubuntu, the, they had some licensing issues. You cannot get the real uh, Java from Oracle anymore, uh, any support, but there are ways to get it and the way to do it is to using repos. I'm going to show you one of those ways. Okay, because the one that you get from Ubuntu is the OpenJDK. It's, it's a little bit different. It's the same thing for most things, but if you're going to be doing any other type of Java development, you need the Java from Oracle for certain things, especially uh, databases and, and things like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to get the, the repo is this repo. I've been using it for a long time and they're pretty good at keeping it current and all you need to do it's not going to do anything because all you need to do you're doing is having access but you need to hit enter and now you get the SSA uh, public keys and all that you're, now you're ready okay but it still hasn't done anything so the first thing you need to do you need to go in and update it okay and now it will it will do it okay in my case it's not going to take too long because i already have it installed i didn't want to take the time doing it uh, live uh, but in your case it's going to take maybe 15 20 minutes because it's going to download the whole, uh, uh, all the files needed for the Java virtual machine. Okay, once that is done, you, we're going to download the installer because all you've done is uh, download the files. Now you're going to install the files, and in your case, it's going to ask you, Are you sure you want this? You say yes, and it's going to ask you, Do you accept the Oracle license? And you will say yes, and then you'll go your own merry way okay once that is done uh you don't have to do this one um i did it in my case it set uh, the the java oracle version to be the default version instead of the the open jdk you don't have to i just like to have the the oracle one to be the default and in case that you want to remove it for some reason that's all you need okay you need the sudo apt-get instead of sudo apt-get install the you just do sudo apt-get remove okay i'm not going to do it because i'm happy with my version once you do that you're going to go in here and you're going to do java version okay and your version is going to come up okay if something if if this stuff doesn't come up there's something wrong and you have to go back and see where what you didn't do what steps you need to do okay now uh we installed it but now we're going to make sure that you can call it from anywhere so we have to not only do it for this uh shell session but actually for the whole uh um, the whole system okay so you can call Java from anywhere so the in order for you to do that you have to um, go into your batch RC file or if you're using other versions other distributions uh, the batch profile and you're going to open this file and it's called sudo nano home and batch RC Okay, and this is the this one of those files that you have to be very careful uh, because if you mess this one up, it could be it could be a lot of tears. Okay, so be very careful what you're doing here. I'm just gonna show you. You gotta enter these two lines here. You're gonna do export. You're gonna make Java home, and you're gonna let 
uh, you gotta let uh, the, the Linux Ubuntu, the kernel, to know where the Java home is. Okay, in my case, it's user lib jvm java 7 oracle okay and i'm going to show you the directory so you know f this is very important because if you don't do this right nothing will work right you gotta go into the your user lib and find the J java virtual machine directory which is this one the jvm and this is where all your java stuff is this is the one that came with uh when you the open source one open jdk uh, but you, there are many versions, uh, you know, you, this is the one that we just downloaded, that one, okay? Java 7 Oracle. This is the one from Oracle itself, okay? So once you find out where it is, if you if you don't know, just go here and it's going to tell you exactly where it is, okay? And you got to enter the name. It has to be exactly as it is. You got to do show the user uh, lib jvm and then the name of the directory where you can find java okay once you do that you go export java home equals it has to be exactly as i have it here nothing different but in your case your java 7 oracle might be java oracle 7 whatever whatever it is just put it here okay in your case it might be different and once you do that line you got to do the second line you have to export to make sure that you send it to the, you set your environmental variables, okay? So you send you Java home to your path. That's like going in Windows when you open, uh, you go into environment variables and you change things and you edit the variables. This is what you're doing, but you're doing it uh, uh, in the Linux way. You do export path. You don't forget that it's the variable Java home and then the binaries and then send the path. Okay, once you do that, you just close the file, exit, make sure you exit because if or do source, but the easiest way just exit and open it again. If you don't op if you don't do this, it's not gonna take effect. You have to close it or or put source on it, so source patch RC or open it at the terminal all over again and then it takes effect. Once you do that, when you enter uh, echo uh, caps Java home is gonna tell you where the Java home. Okay, I'm asking, tell me where my Java home is, and if you if something went wrong, this line is gonna be empty. Okay, uh, if if you see what you're seeing right now in in my screen, then you did it the right way. Okay. Once you do that, then you 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 know that you did it the right way, and then you go Java to make sure the compiler is working. Uh, Java version, and you know that the compiler, the Java virtual machine, is uh, is all set up. Okay. In your case, it might be different depending on the version that you that you have okay and in the next tutorial i will show you how to how to set up the the ndk to do the native development uh, the, um, for android but um yeah i that's gonna take a little bit longer so i didn't want to make this tutorial too long so i will make a a, a tutorial just for the ndk uh, but this is the end of the tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time have a great day